Hey folks, I'm Sam, and welcome to another Tennis Express Racket Review. In this video, we review the Babolat Pure Aero Tennis Racket. Tons of players have migrated to Babolat's Aero Modular Beam over the years. The design integrates the bumper and grommets together with an aerodynamic beam for more racket head speed and spin. The new Pure Aero drops SWX Pure Feel in favor of NF2 Tech, which features flax inserts at strategic locations of the frame. The change seeks to improve shock absorption and refine the hitting experience. The arrow is 10.6 ounces unstrung and it features a slightly more closed 16 by 19 string pattern than the previous generation. It still features a 23, 26, 23 beam as the previous version. Let's see if Tyler and Alex gelled with the new Pure Arrow from Babolat. 2023 Pure Arrow is a racket that I've been waiting on for a long time, like I'm sure many of you have. I found that this racket compared to the older models is much, much more comfortable, gives you much more power, and still keeps that same classic Pure Arrow spin. Heavy top spin is the name of the game with this racket. Just like Nadal, your Landry shots deep in the back of the court, pushing your opponent deeper and deeper, waiting to put away the ball. Like I mentioned before, one thing this model does better than the previous models is comfort and power. I felt like my shots were a lot more comfortable, easier on the arm, and just gave a better overall feel, but they weren't lacking power at all. Overall, I think the 2023 Pure Arrow is a great improvement from the previous model. More comfort, more spin, more power, it's always a good thing. I would recommend this racket to an intermediate player who loves to play at the baseline with heavy topspin and a really big kick serve. Hey tennis fans, Tyler here. Today I'll be reviewing the new Babla 2023 Pure Arrow. Uh, this rack is probably the most anticipated in 2023. Um, overall, I had a very positive experience test driving this racket. It's probably one of my best ones uh, I've hit with so far. In terms of performance, um, the extra aerodynamic of the racket helped me generate a lot of top spin, especially with my forehand and also my backhand. Um, in terms of serving, I was able to hit really wide, cross court angles, very perfect racket. On the forehand and backhand, I was able to hit tons of power and also spin, uh, which brought my opponents out wide. And then most of the time, I end my shots at the net, which, which felt very crisp and solid. Um, in terms of recommendations, I would highly recommend this racket for any advanced players or even intermediate players looking for an awesome performance frame. This version of the Pure Arrow, to me, it felt like a step up in the power department. There's a lot more free power, particularly noticeable on the serve. At first, I felt a lot of forehands were going long. I needed to cover them a little bit more and hit a little bit more spin to keep the ball inside the lines. But if you're looking for a little bit more of an explosive response from that Pure Aero, this version's gonna be right up your alley. I think the new Pure Aero could really be a, a comfortable racket for players with sort of medium to moderate uh, swing speeds. If you don't take a tremendous backswing, the Pure Arrow is still gonna give you a lot of power and you're gonna be able to create some spin just as long as you get the racket set and prepared on the backswing. I think one of the key benefits to the Aero Modular technology and really what sort of popularized the entire tweener market is that when you don't hit the sweet spot right on the nose, this racket's still able to keep the ball inside the lines and you'll even notice getting some depth and getting the ball past the service line instead of your opponent being able to step in and just crush the next ball. So it gives the user a little bit of margin for error and a lot of us in that tweener spec really, really need that. I would recommend the new Pure Arrow to any established member of that Pure Arrow family. It's a lot of the same. It's a great racket, spin friendly, a little bit more powerful than the previous version. And it's even more comfortable than you would think in a racket that has this flex rating. It's a little bit firmer flex rating, but the racket does play very comfortably. All in all, the vibrant look looks really, really nice, and the racket plays just like you'd expect a Pure Arrow to. Lots of spin, lots of power, and sort of a universal feel that can apply to advanced players, intermediate players, and beginner players as well. Thanks for checking out our Babolat Pure Arrow review. For more information on the demo string and for all things Babolat Tennis, head over to TennisExpress.com.